Donkey, uh, you're back starting in a Scotland shirt. How does that make you feel? Yeah, proud as punch. Um, yeah, it's been a, a roller coaster journey uh, in between the last start, but yeah, um, I mean you you always uh, strive to to get selected for Scotland, but yeah, making a start. Uh, although uh, I'm well aware that Finn and Adam uh, both get injured down in Wales, but yeah, no, I've uh, my fingers been on the pulse with the the team plays and. Uh, being in, in this uh, atmosphere and within the squad, so yeah, no, it's uh, it's a great opportunity for me, and yeah, I'm just looking to just go out and enjoy it. Just touching a little bit more on what it's like to be back in the Scotland camp. Uh, just being around you as a group, you seem to all get on so well uh, and all know each other, kind of like the back of your hand. How good is it for wanting to get better to kind of know everyone around you? and to kind of keep pushing each other's standards? Yeah, for, for me, especially being down south, like not only you're, you're representing your country, but I get excited because I, I go and see all my best mates. Uh, I've got great relationships with a lot of the guys in the squad. I mean, Stuart Hogg was an usher for my, me and my wedding day and I was an usher for him. So rekindling uh, that relationship with him, albeit I hate him the majority of the time, but um, and we, we pull in each other's uh, uh, well, he did pull my hair the other day at training, and uh, yeah, no, I need to get him back for that. But no, it, it's great seeing these guys. I mean, um, I, I've known these guys from age group rugby, uh, quite a few of the guys, so that's 10, 12 years of relationships. Um, and I, and I, I do think that uh, counts come a match day. Um, just having that special bond with people, um, you kind of, you go that extra mile, albeit you've got that thistle in your chest that you're going guns blazing to do whatever you can for your country, but I do feel like there's a, a little extra bit of um, just togetherness uh, when you've got that special bonds. And yeah, there's a lot of guys that I'm making uh, new relationships with within the squad as well, which is great. And and they're getting to know me and uh, and, and understand how I go about my day. and. Yeah, I like to think that I'm a, a jolly character around the group, but when it comes to rugby, they can see that there's a there's a flick definitely being uh, switched, and, a, and I'm and I'm leading the team uh, in the right manner. But off the pitch, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm up for a laugh. And uh, lastly, we just need to talk a little bit about the elephant in the room, uh, your hair. So it's been getting a lot of love on uh, social media, but just remind everyone it is indeed for a serious cause. Yeah, so. Basically, from the last time you've seen me, Michael, um, I've not uh, touched a lock of hair. Uh, I've not cut it. Um, it was kind of uh, kind of early to mid lockdown, uh, and it was kind of going out of control. And I went, "Oh, this could be a a funny old uh, experiment to to just let it go for the the rest of the year." Um, obviously. Uh, lockdown brought us challenges for a, for a lot of businesses, but charities get hit just as just as bad. So um, at the Worcester Warriors, we've got a really strong re relationship with Acorns uh, Kids Hospice. Um, there's there's a lot of guys that go down and, and, and spend time there on their days off, and the, we really do have a, a good link with them. So uh, I thought, what what best to, to do if if you've got um, wild crazy hair that everyone encourages you to to let it grow out, well, uh, now you've got a, a, a good excuse to donate to a fantastic cause. And uh, just even speaking to the, the, the girls that have helped help set it all up from the Acorn side, they're so uh, happy that um, just a tongue in cheek, little light-hearted bit of fun this year uh, has gone a, a long way. And yeah, we're, we're nearly at six grand now. So uh, no, I'm really chuffed at that, but yeah, if we can keep pushing it and, and keep driving it, uh, obviously the international stage is, is going to be a good platform for for the Barnet to be on show. Um, but no, um, the good thing about it as well, come the rugby day, uh, as long as I've got a hairband in and it's not touching my eyes, then it doesn't affect my rugby performance again. Um, it's, it's just a bit of uh, fun and yeah, there'll be a few laughs at the, the telly, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it, being at my, my expense for that great cause.